literally the third time I filmed this intro because my camera just does not want to focus on my face. Anyway, hello guys, welcome back to my vlog. Um, welcome back to Vlogmas. Coming at you from a slightly different vlog today to what I intended to film. Um, if you guys live in the UK or maybe if you don't live in the UK, you probably have heard that London and most of the UK have gone into a tier four, like literally three or four days, no, like four or five days before Christmas, which is shit. It's shit to say the least. Like it is honestly just ruined. Like the last few days I've been so, so upset about it. But today I'm just taking a different outlook on it. I think I don't want to let it ruin my Christmas. I absolutely love this time of year. I love being Christmassy. I love doing Christmassy things. Um, I felt so festive up until that point. So I'm not gonna, I've just decided in my head, like I'm not gonna let it ruin my Christmas. Like no way, Christmas is not canceled. I'm gonna make the most of what I have. We're gonna be doing vlogs from home. We're gonna be doing a lot of cute little things just in the house. So yeah, I'm just not gonna let it get to me. And I think that is just like the mindset we need to adopt. I know it is so hard. And honestly guys, for the longest time, like I felt so shit about it. But I think, like, just don't, just don't let it consume you because, like, I just, like, just put it back, to, put it to the back of your head. I know it's really, really hard. Um, and just try and enjoy these, like, festive, like, last few festive days up until Christmas. Hopefully these vlogs are going to make you feel a little bit more festive and cosy. Um, but yeah, I'm sending all my love to all of you guys, whatever tier you're in, wherever you are in the UK, wherever you are in the world, because I know everyone's dealing with similar things at the moment. So, yeah, hopefully these vlogs will provide a little bit of Christmas cheer and just make us feel all a bit more like close and just like festive and nice and yeah just like all good things we don't need negativity we're pushing it to the side we don't need it in our life so this vlog was originally going to be sort of like a come to london with me come last minute christmas shopping with me um but obviously tier four had other ideas so that is not going to be the vlog today's vlog is just going to be very much a very chilled out vlog just me coming to you from my house basically i'm just gonna be doing things in the house gonna be doing some christmasy things gonna wrap some presents um I need to do that because <laughs> i've left my christmas shopping till literally the last minute and it's a bit of a problem so like when i found out the shops were gonna close i was like fuck like i i haven't bought my mum and dad a christmas present so that is literally arriving i think tomorrow which is like the 23rd of december so cheers to me for being so last minute um but yeah i'm gonna wrap some christmas presents i've got some christmas presents to open which is super super exciting i've done a christmas gift swap with a few other youtuber girls so i'm gonna show you guys what i got in my little secret santa from that i've got a few other christmas presents from my friends um a few pr boxes and stuff like that so i'm gonna open those now because i literally can't wait any longer like they've been sat in my room for the longest time and it's just like it's torture like seeing something sat in your room so close to you and you can't open it so i'm gonna open those now for you guys i'm gonna prop you up on here i just wanted to show you guys my nails i'm actually so impressed with them so yeah here are my nails guys um if you know me i'm not really into my nails that much like i don't ever pay to get them done um they usually look awful and I always complain about them but i was like do you know what i want to do like a little christmasy nail look oh my god ignore fake tan under that one but I just thought they looked quite cute. I just did like a little gel nude on all of the colour, on all of the fingers. And then on this little one, I just did like a little sparkly colour. And I got both of these nail varnishes in my Boohoo advent calendar. So thank you so much, Boohoo. I'm literally obsessed with this. Like I can never do my nails, but I feel like these actually look... Are you going to focus? But yeah, I feel like these actually look semi good. Like I'm quite impressed with them. So let me know what you think in the comments. But yeah, it's like cute little Christmassy nails. Also, if you guys are wondering, like, where I am, I'm basically in my mum's room because my room has just got no light whatsoever. Like, it's actually awful. So, I'm just in here. The reason the ring light is there is because I'm going to shoot some content in a minute. But, yeah, let me put you on here and we can see what I've got from these gorgeous girlies because I literally can't wait any longer to see what I've got. Um, let's prop you up on that. Is that all right? Let me turn the ring light around because that's just not helping anyone. So I've just propped you up on here. Hopefully this is okay. I know the lighting is not the best, but there's literally nowhere I can film in the house with any light. So we're just going to have to deal with this. But anyway, guys, I've done a Christmas gift swap with three other gorgeous Insta and YouTube girls who are literally like the nicest girls you'll ever meet. Well, I haven't met them, like virtually meet. Um, we just get on so well. They're such lovely girls, like so down to earth. We're all very similar. And that is Millie, 
robin and lauren i'll leave all of their links down below to their channels to their other videos of this like their little gift sort of videos um so we've been like talking we've got a little whatsapp group chat and we always talk on there and we were like how nice would it be to do like a little christmas youtuber gift swap secret santa type thing so that's what we've done today this has been sat in my room for literally like the longest time so i cannot wait to open this and see what lauren got me so if i remember correctly lauren bought for me i bought for millie millie bought for robin robin bought for lauren i think that's the order um we sort of knew who was buying for who because obviously we had to give each other our address and stuff so it wasn't i guess like secret santa you're supposed to like not tell the person but not know who it's from but it just all got very complicated and we were going to try and do like a little zoom call and try and do it over zoom with each person like film their little clips but that just got so complicated we were like do you know what let's just make our own separate videos and then we'll just like include them in the description box so i will include millie's robin's and lauren's videos all in the description box so you can watch what um we got each other but this is what lauren has got me i have not opened this this has been sat in my room for so long um and it's been killing me like i literally have just been waiting to spare a moment to sit down and film this video so let's see what she picked up i'm really really excited so we had like a budget of i think it was like 10 to 15 pound budget like don't spend any more than that oh my gosh she's so cute she's giving me a little card let me open the card first Oh, she's so cute. She's literally the loveliest girl ever. Um, she basically just said to you, Bella, wishing you, you and family a very Merry Christmas and as well as a happy and healthy new year. I'm so excited to finally be able to meet you in person and drink Prosecco all day at our brunch. Lots of love, Lauren. Um, we've, we've planned a little brunch at tonight, Josephine, for January, but I, I don't think it's going to go ahead. Like, I feel like we're being a bit optimistic, hoping that it's going to go ahead, but fingers, fingers crossed, like, anything can happen, but... If not, then hopefully at some point in 2021 I can meet all of these girls because I feel like we're just going to be like the best of friends. Oh my god, this is literally the cutest thing ever. So, oh my god, I don't even know where to start. She's packaged it so beautifully. I'll show you guys at the end because I don't want to tip it up because there's some little breakable bits in here. Um, so she's basically got me this. Oh my god, it's like a... Oh my god, she's literally the sweetest girl. So she's got me this little... Um, is it a champagne glass or is it a wine glass? I think it's a wine glass. Um, I'll take it out of this so you guys can see. But she's packaged everything so sweetly. Like everything is all like hand wrapped. This makes me feel like I've not done a very good job of mine. I'm sorry, Millie. Um, oh, maybe I should have got some scissors. Actually, that's no, fine. Oh. oh, the little candy cane has smashed inside, but. She's basically got me this little wine glass. I think it's a wine glass. And it says Bella on the front. Like a little personalised one. That is literally the cutest thing ever. Like I'm obsessed with that. I'm literally going to have a nice glass of wine or Prosecco. I need to ask my mum what this is for. Because I'm not very good with this type of thing. Um, What this is for. And I'll be having a nice glass of whatever this is for tonight. Why have we got a bit dark? Come on camera what are you doing? I'm going to have a nice glass of this tonight. Because this is so cute and i've just seen as well she's got me oh my god this is literally my favorite prosecco like one of my favorite proseccos um it's the frisson frisson i don't know how you say it but i always i literally have had a bottle of this the other day i um, just got me this little prosecco to go with it to have in the glass so definitely gonna be having this tonight thank you lauren um she's put on here until we can meet and drink together over a big bottle cheers so cheers to you lauren thank you so much i literally can't i can't get over this this is the cutest thing ever Actually, let me put this here because knowing me, I'm going to smash everything. Let me put this up here. But there's some other things in here as well. Like, I don't know how much more she's going to give me. Um, so I've got something in this little... In this. This was quite heavy. This is like the first like present I've actually opened. Actually, no, it's a lie. Actually, yeah, it's my first present I've actually unwrapped like this year. Oh my god, what has she done? Oh my god this girl i literally can't deal with her oh my god so you guys know and lauren must know like i i'm obsessed with astrology i'm obsessed with everything spirituality like manifestation all of that type of stuff like i'm absolutely massive into it i love horoscopes all that type of stuff like and recently i discovered this numerology report which is like an instagram like online numerology report and um, it, sort of, it sort of tells you your sort of like life path um your like destiny number all this type of stuff and i could not believe how accurate it was and i put it on my story and a lot of girls like did the same sort of test and they said it was so accurate 
So Lauren has bought me a numerology handbook, which says uncover your destiny and manifest your future with the power of numbers. Like I did not even know this existed, but it's everything that I needed and more. Like I just can't, like I actually want to do this now. I should have done this yesterday. Like, yesterday was supposed to be the best day to manifest, but I'm really annoyed that I've opened this like the day after. Oh my God, I'm literally gonna have so much fun reading all of this. I literally can't. So like some of the chapters, let me just show you guys. So it's like your birthday code, your birth name code, your single digits and three triads code, master numbers, personal year, power cycles, like basically how every letter like in your name or in your birthday corresponds to another number. Then that equals sort of like a life path number and a lot of like other numbers that mean significant things. I think my life path number is five. I'll try and link that numerology report down below because I feel like you guys will really, really enjoy that. Um, but I cannot wait to do this. Like I literally can't thank this girl enough. Like I can't believe she's bought me all of this stuff. It's the most thoughtful gift ever. And she literally knows me better than I know myself clearly because I didn't even know this existed. So thank you so, so much, Lauren. I literally love you so much. I cannot wait so we can actually finally meet. Um, I wish there was nothing else in here. I don't think there is. No, but everything was packaged in this really gorgeous little um, box with like little confetti and little um, polystyrene things. Like how cute is that? I literally love her so much. Thank you so much, Lauren. I will leave a link to all of their videos down below so you can see what I got Millie, what everyone got everyone basically. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. I literally can't get over that. It's the cutest thing ever. I'm really sorry about this lighting, guys. Hopefully it's okay. I've just watched it back. I don't know if it's a bit odd, but we're just gonna have to just go with it, you know. Um, right, so next up I have Georgia's present that she delivered to me. Again, this has been sat in my room for quite a long time now, and I can't wait to open it up and see what she got me. I don't know which one to open first. She's packaged it so cutely as well. It's got this like little shimmery paper with like a little pink bow literally so cute so there's like a little maybe i open the little one first or should i open the big one i don't know i don't know what to do um i don't want to wreck the packaging either because this is packaged so sweetly maybe i open the big one first oh god i'm excited Ooh, i literally can't open this paper oh my god she's literally the sweetest person ever Oh my god, this is literally stunning. So she's got me this Stilla Kitten Bliss Iron Lip Set. This is literally stunning. Like, Georgia, you did not have to give me this. You're like, oh, I've just got you something small. This is like so sweet. Like this, but I think it's like a highlighter. Well, iron, actually, no, it's not highlighter. It's like an iron lip set. So it's got like a little, I guess you could use it as a highlighter. It's got like a little sparkly um, powder compact that you could probably use as a highlighter or an eyeshadow. Um, it's got like a little a lip gloss and then like a liquid eyeshadow as well. And this is my favourite colour to wear. Like this, like rose goldy gold tone. Like, it's also got red lipstick on today. It's because I'm going to get some Christmas content, guys. Like, that's the exception. But normally, I would always wear these, like, nudie colours. So, oh my god, this is just the sweetest thing ever. Thank you so much, Georgia. Like, I cannot wait to try this out. I wish I could actually get dressed up for something and use all of the products. Um, so, yeah, let me open this one. What do we have? Oh my god, it's another little stir thing. Oh my god, this looks stunning. What the hell? She did not need to do this. Oh my god, so she's got me a liquid lipstick, Stay All Night Rouge. I, don't, I can't pronounce it, but it's another like Stilla product. I've actually never tried Stilla product. Actually, no, maybe that's a lie. Maybe I have. But I'm, I've heard such good things about them and I feel like they're going to be such good products. Um, oh my god, I literally am obsessed. So she's got me this little li liquid lipstick which is in the nicest like nudie pink colour. I actually really need some new lipsticks. So she literally has read my mind. Um, I literally was just running out and getting really bored of my lipsticks as well. And oh my god, this colour is so nice. Like this is the exact lip colour that I wear. Oh my god, she's literally the sweetest girl. I've not actually had a lipstick, liquid lipstick for years. And I used to always use one from Too Faced. And that was like my favourite lipstick ever. So I cannot wait to try this. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Georgie. You literally did not need to do that. It's the cutest present ever. Um, I'm actually just like try all these out and like do my makeup like christmas day i might just wear all of this stuff because why the f not do you know what i mean um so yeah thank you georgia that is the cutest thing ever i literally am obsessed i'm just gonna show you this gift i've already opened it um 
just because it sort of like came in a little box and I was slightly confused who it was from. This is from my best friend Lucy. She sent it in the post and I didn't actually know that it was coming so that's why I opened it hence why I'm not sort of unboxing it to show you but she got me the cutest little hottie like hot water bottle toy. It is such a cute little sheep. It's so so soft. Um, I love these little hot water bottle things. Like recently I've actually been getting quite cold sleeping in my bed and I've been going to bed with a hot water bottle. So again, she literally knows me better than I know myself. She's got me this little toy. So if you know me personally well, or actually I think I've said it a few times on here as well. I absolutely love cuddly toys. Like I always have done, always will do. Mum was like, oh, you'll grow out of it. You'll grow out of it. I'm a 21 year old girl and they're still like such a lovely present to receive. Like I absolutely love them. So thank you so much, Lisa. This is literally the cutest present ever. Um, I also sent Lisa like, something little yesterday as well. So I think she would have got that. But oh my God, this is so cute. I literally can't deal with it. I'm going to literally put this in the microwave tonight. Have this on hot, put all that makeup on, get some Instagram pictures and then sit and drink my Prosecco. Why the fuck not? Because it's Christmas. One last thing I did wanna show you guys was just a little present from Boohoo, which I can't even believe I'm saying out loud. Like the fact that I have received a Christmas PR present from Boohoo, if I told myself this last year, like I don't think I would have believed myself. And sometimes I think it's important to sort of look back on how far you've come. Um, Sometimes it's sort of, it's such like a, ongoing job like it's always like go 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 you sort of don't have a chance to sit sit and reflect on how far you have come like it's more I always beat myself up and like, I haven't got enough content I don't like this content just constant like battle and sometimes it's so important to look back and think like hold on I have achieved so much and I have done so much and if I told myself this at the beginning of last year like I would have been like if I told myself this last Christmas I would have been like oh my gosh like I would have been so proud of myself. So I think it's important to always look back on how far you've come. Um, anyway, I got this little box. Sorry, I went on a bit on a rant there. But I've got this little black box. I have already opened this, but I've just put it back in the box to show you guys. So yeah, in this package, I basically got some charcoal face masks, which I absolutely love these. These are the Garnier ones. And I buy these all the time. Like, I love the moisture bomb ones. I've actually never tried the black tissue masks so i'm super super excited to try those again just going to include this within my pamper evening i'm going to sit and drink that sparkling wine and put one of these on my face so thank you boohoo and then the other present i got from them it as part of this package i also got another present which i'm going to show you in a second was this personalized tracksuit so it's got bs on the side which is my initials which are my initials and um, it's sort of like this acid wash stone wash hoodie um and oh my god i'm literally just obsessed with this i already wore this out the other day it's got some like butterfly prints on the back it's sort of like that boohoo man um boot i can't remember they did another collab with like a rainbow tracksuit i, can't remember, I could never get my hands on it but i think it's like that tracksuit but customized so just obsessed um and then these are the joggers as well they've got like a little butterfly print detail on the bottom I'm just like I just can't deal with how sweet they are there like they're just such a lovely brand to work with um, and then on their little note as well they just put can't wait to thank you so much for working with us this year and can't wait to work with you again in 2021 so thank you guys so much Boohoo oh yeah I also got a little um is it a pop sock thing the thing you put on the back of your phone I think this is a pop sock I've um, got one of them as well and then I was also going to show you guys this which I also got from Boohoo which i was like i thought that was enough like when they sent that i was like oh my god like they've spoiled me um and then i received this in the post which is a suit from the wolfie cindy edit um i didn't actually even know she did an edit with boohoo so i was like oh my god i'm so here for this i love wolfie cindy and this is the best suit suit set i've ever worn like the fit of it is insane the quality is so good like if i could have picked anything like probably from the edit i probably would have picked this so i can't believe that they sent it to me um, and it's just such lovely quality. I just want to wear it out. Like, please, like, God, just give me something to wear this to because I need to. Because, oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed. I love the grey. I love the sort of, like, stone. What is it? Sort of, like, a utility blazer. Um, and then it's got some suit trousers underneath. I won't try it on because you won't really get, can't remember to get changed. And, yeah, I can't remember bothered. But I'm sure you will see it at some point because hopefully at the nearest, at the, is that what? That's not the right word at the soonest possibility is that right i don't think that's right either it's something in my eye now as well at the soonest at the nearest opportunity 
I don't know. As soon as I can actually go out and wear something, that is what I'll be wearing. So I'm sure you'll see it. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for all these presents. Like, I literally can't get over it. I feel like I just, I'm so grateful to have such lovely people in my life. I feel like if 2020 has brought one thing, it's been some amazing, amazing friends in my life. Obviously, I had Lucy and Rakesh already. Um, I'm going to save Rakesh's present. I'll open that on Christmas Day. Um, but... I just I'm so thankful that I have some really gorgeous friends some really lovely girls that are in my life now because I think you guys would know I always used to talk about it that a lot of the girls I never really got on with very well um so I'm really glad that I found some girls that are really like me and that are literally like my best friends now so thank you so much everyone for all your presents love you guys um so yeah let me just turn you off because it's like a 10 minute clip so yeah that is all of my presents opened well from like my friends you'll obviously see on christmas day what i got from my family but i just have the best friends in the world i'm so grateful so yeah that is this part of the vlog i'm gonna go and now get some um instagram content i need to touch up my makeup i think and my hair i'm gonna get some instagram content because we're running low on instagram content and i want some christmasy content which is why i've done the red lip so stay tuned for that that'll probably be up when this video goes live i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna have some soup for dinner which i'll probably show you guys mum's making homemade soup which is really really nice i absolutely love homemade soup like i think it's one of my favorite christmas winter dinners um and then i'm gonna be we're gonna be doing baking ba not baking yeah baking some gingerbread men i don't know if i'm baking them or just decorating them i just saw the kit downstairs my mum's got so i can't remember she said we're baking them or just decorating them but you'll find out so that's gonna be the next part of the vlog gonna go touch on makeup get some instagram content and i'll catch up with you guys when i'm back so guys it's been a little while since i spoke to you um i just got some content in this dress which is actually what i wore for my 19th birthday um i just thought it was like a really like christmasy vibes and i feel like i love re-wearing dresses and i just sort of forgot about this one so i just took some pictures in this in front of my tree so I think I'm not going to post this just yet. This is like a little sneak peek. So if you do see that picture between now and Christmas, then please give it a like. Um, I've also put on the lipstick that Georgia got me, the Stilla one. I'm literally obsessed with it. And like the glitter gloss, it's literally so nice. So yeah, I'm literally out of breath. I've literally been taking loads of pictures. Please ignore my extensions. I just put my hair in a really rough um, ponytail. But I quite like the ponytail, you know. Like I feel like if I could perfect it, if I could spend more time doing it then i'd quite like it for like a night out look but um yeah i need to get out of this dress i need to put on some pajamas and i'm just going to try and chill out and relax now um so we're going to be making some gingerbread men and i'm going to be putting together a hamper um so for danny's mum and dad for christmas i'm going to be giving them a hamper so we need to actually put everything inside the hamper because at the moment it's just all a bit of a nightmare but yeah okay guys so I just changed into some pajamas so i think the plan is that we're going to do the gingerbread men um now like quickly now like make them and then i'm gonna while they're like cooking or whatever do, what did he bake them mm -hmm. while they're baking and like cooling down i'm gonna do my hamper for danny's mum and dad so i'm going to do like a little talking you through how to make them i don't even know how i'm supposed to make them i'll just bring you guys in here i literally don't even know what i'm doing but i bought this little like kit thing i think so actually i've just been informed that it's like a little kit from aldi that we're using which is a gingerbread dough kit um we're not actually gonna be making it from scratch we're literally just like it's already comes it already comes ready made like this so what i'm going to be doing is just put some flour down i'm going to be rolling this out cutting out the gingerbread shapes got this little cutter that comes in the pack i think i've got some other cutters as well which i showed in my little christmas haul we could use as well gonna put this coconut oil spray this on to here and then put it in the oven and then i've got these two little things to decorate so i've got some little white star things um and then some little green icing as well so gonna do this now i don't know how this is gonna turn out i'm gonna attempt to do a time lapse of this as well and i don't know how that's gonna turn out so don't know when i'll next see you guys hopefully it'll be a success Okay, guys, so the <laughs> gingerbread men are out of the oven. Um, the first batch, well, we had a few casualties along the way. A few got a bit bad. A few of their heads got lost. Um, but this is what we've ended up with from the first batch. But the second batch is looking a lot better. Um, I think this, the mixture was slightly thicker for the second batch. So I think they've 
like gone a lot more golden and they're a lot more even than the first ones they were a little bit of a disaster but i'm gonna let these cool down now um and then i'm gonna go and do the hamper so i'm gonna bring you guys back upstairs back into my mum's room and i'm gonna be putting together the hamper for the mannings which i'm gonna show you like how i do it how i make it look all cute um so yeah okay guys so i'm back upstairs so this is the hamper kit i'm going to be using this was actually from home sense i got this ages ago um i do know a lot of sort of places sell them i think you can get them online or you could literally like make your own you could literally just buy the ribbon and everything separately but i think the home sense one was the best like most reasonably priced one that we could find for sort of what you get in it it's like a little ribbon the cellophane and you get the stuffing and that was a 3.99 i think it was i got this ages ago so i can't really remember um, that's what I'm going to be using, and then this is what we got them. So we got them some ground coffee, hot lava java coffee, some Harrods English breakfast tea, which I got when I went to London. Got the Winter White Company candle, which is actually one of my favourite candles ever. I got that from Bista Village, actually. This is the M&S Milk Dark and White Chocolate Selection. Then this is the Italian Rosé. This is the same um, type of rosé that the spark same sparkling wine that Lauren gave me in my parcel, which I just opened before. But I literally love this so much. I know Elaine loves it as well. Then I got these two pairs of slipper socks, which you might remember from my Primark haul. So this is for Elaine. This is for Mick. Um, and yeah, that's everything, I think. So I'm going to try and do like a little time lapse of like putting it all together. I don't know how well this is going to work, but... Yeah, I'm a bit stressed to like try and do it all and film and get it all like looking nice. Hello guys, I've finished the hamper. I absolutely love how it looks. I had a little bit of a mail with the bow, which is why I stopped um, doing the time lapse. Basically, it's one of those ones where you like pull the two strings and then it just sort of all goes up and i pulled the wrong string so it all just sort of snapped apart so i've had to improvise i've had to put it together sort of manually with some sellotape but it's fine so yeah i've got every single thing in there other than the alcohol which i'm just going to give them separately because it was going to ruin like the evenness and it just didn't really fit so i absolutely love the way this looks and it looks so gorgeous hopefully they're going to like it I think campers are such like a good idea to get someone for Christmas. So like, if you want to buy some like cheaper items that aren't absolutely extortionate and you just want to give them to someone, it's so nice to do it in like a hamper just because it looks so thoughtful and it just looks really pretty for Christmas. So I'm going to tidy all of this away and then I'm going to go back downstairs and try and icy gingerbread men. Hopefully they've um, cooled down. I feel like I'm being so Zoella today. Like, I feel like she's very, does like arts and crafty things. I'm just not really like that, but quite impressed with this. Okay guys, I think the gingerbread men are cooled down. They feel, yeah, they've cooled down now definitely a lot. So I'm going to be trying to ice them. I don't really know what to do on them. I don't really know like what design to do. I'm a bit uninspired. Like do I just sort of do like a little face? I don't really, I don't really know. I've only got green icing, so that's what I'm going to be using. Maybe if I like go around the edge. I don't know, I'm going to have to try and see because I don't know how long I'm going to be able to decorate with this little thing. Right, so this is how the finished result looks um i'm kind of impressed with them but i feel like they're a bit like insta versus reality i feel like i could have done better but i feel like it's because of the icing and stuff i feel like if i had better icing i could have done them a lot better but i mean this one he looks pretty good i think is it gonna focus on him i think he looks pretty good this one not so good like that one is really good that one is not so good but a few of them are quite good. Like, this one's quite good. That one's quite good. That one. Meh. Um, but I feel like they still look cute. And I'm going to sit and have one probably with a cup of tea in a minute. And I'm probably going to finish this vlog here. Because I don't know how long it's been. Sorry, I had some red wine since I last spoke to you guys. But I don't know how long this vlog is has been. Like, at all. Like, I actually have no clue. So, I'm going to finish it now. Because... I'm not really doing anything else exciting but i think this is literally the last time i'm going to speak to you guys before christmas so that's crazy but yeah this is sort of like my f penultimate episode of vlogmas so there'll be another episode which will i don't think i'm going to vlog christmas day because i'm just going to enjoy it but i'm going to do sort of like a what i got for christmas video after that so you'll see everything that i got for christmas which is so exciting i literally cannot wait like i literally i can't even believe it's christmas in a few days like i just need to 
relax and just like like I can't believe it and I can't believe like the things I'm getting I'm just so so excited and so grateful so stay tuned for that because that'll be coming in a video very very soon sorry my teeth look really black it's the red wine it always happens to me I don't know why like it's so annoying but yeah I need to sort out this hair I need to take off my makeup just relax and I'll catch up with you guys after Christmas which is crazy um but I hope you all have a lovely lovely Christmas as lovely as a Christmas as you can obviously in the circumstances but um we're gonna make the most of it and we're gonna have a really good time so yeah I'll talk to you guys very soon thank you so much for watching um I'll see you on my next video